Greetings to all my tech heads out there in the KevTechify nation. And if you're new here, welcome. In this episode, we're going to look at configuring role-based CLI. We'll be discussing role-based CLI access, role-based views. We're going to configure role-based views. Then we're going to configure some administrative roles. We're also going to configure role-based CLI super views. And then finally, we're going to verify those role-based CLI views. This episode is part of my series on network security. I'm Kevin here at KevTechify. Let's get this adventure started. The Cisco iOS release 12.3.11t feature provides finer, more granular access by controlling which commands are available for specific roles. Role-based CLI access enables the network administrator to configure different views of router configurations for different users. So you can have, each user could have a different view. Maybe somebody's responsible for IP addressing and they would only have access to that. Where somebody is responsible for the routing protocols, they would have access to that material. Each view defines the CLI commands that each user can access. Now, what this does, it addresses security, availability, and operational efficiency. Role-based CLI provides three types of views that dictate which commands are available. One is the root view, and now the root view, to configure any view for the system, the administrator must be in the root view. Then we have the CLI view. The CLI is a specific set of commands can be bundled into a CLI view. So you got a set of commands you want to give to a certain user, put that all in the view, have that view go to that user. And then finally, we have a super view. A super view consists of one or more CLI views. So this super view here has a bunch of CLI views in it. The idea here is you can create CLI views, not necessarily for a person, but for a function. And then you can combine those different functions into a super view for a particular user. Super views have several specific characters, or sorry, characteristics. The first one here is a single CLI, CLI view can be shared within multiple super views. So you create one CLI view and you can put that in multiple super views. Commands cannot be configured for a super view. So it, when you set up that super view, you can't put commands in it. You actually have to put the commands in the CLI view and then that CLI view into that super view. Users who are, who are logged into a super view can access all the commands that are configured for any of the CLI views that are part of that super view. So any CLI view command that you have bundled and you can have multiple CLI views, a user using that super view will have access to that. Each super view has a password that is used to switch between super views or from a CLI view to a, to a super view. Deleting a super view does not delete the associated CLI. So if you delete the super view, those CLIs will still remain. If you like this episode on configuring role-based CLI and you get value out of it, and depending upon the platform you're using, please click that like button, give a five-star rating, leave a comment. Doing this supports the channel, which in turn helps me bring you more great content. Click that notification bell, turn on notifications to be alerted every time I release a new episode and I have a lot more episodes headed your way. You can also view my website at kevtechify.com for all my details and how to get these episodes in video and podcast form. There are five steps to create and manage a specific view. Now, the first step here is to enable AAA with the AAA new model command. Now, once you do that, you exit and enter the root view with the enable view command. That's for step one. Step two, you create a view using the parser view view name. So right here, we create our view, parser view name, and then you give it the name of your view you want. Step three is to assign a secret password to the view using the secret password 
view configuration. Hidden view configuration mode. So secret, that'll encrypt your password. You put your password in here. But once again, make sure we are in that um, configuration mode, view configuration mode. Step four is to assign commands to the selected view using the commands parser mode here. So here's our commands. And then from here, we can assign the different commands to this view. And then finally, the last step here is to exit view configuration mode by using the command exit. Now we're gonna break down that commands command. Once again, we start off with our keyword command then you put your then you put parser mode this is the mode in which that specified command exists for example exec mode then you say either include include exclusive or exclude what these mean here is include adds a command or an interface to the view and allows the same command or interface to be added to other views include exclusive adds a command or interface to the view and now it excludes the same command or interface from being added to all other views so include here allows the same command or interface to be added to all other views include exclusive excludes the same command or interface from being added to all other views then we have exclude. Exclude a command or interface from your current view. We have the option word here of all. What all is, is a wildcard that allows every command in a specific configuration mode that is being that begins with the same keyword or every sub interface for a specific interface to be part of that view. Then we put in either the interface command or the command itself. Now the interface is the interface that's to be added to the view and the command is the command that is to be added to the view. The steps to configure a super view are essentially the same as configuring a CLI view except that the view view name command is used to assign commands to a super view. First step you have to do is create the view using our parser view command. And then what that does is enter into our super view configuration mode right down here. The next step is to assign a secret password using the secret command. So you gotta make sure you set your password and once again, secret will encrypt that password. This sets the, the password here to protect access to that super view. Step three is to assign an existing view using the view view name command here keyword of view and then this last part here the view name that's the name you created with that CLI view earlier and then step four again is to exit out of configuring your super view to verify a view use the enable view command we have enable view and then right here you put the name of your view enter the name there and then you provide the password. Once again, it'll provide the, it, it won't show anything being in the Cisco operating system. Once you are in that view, you can go ahead and verify your commands by putting the question mark. Now it'll list out the interfaces and the commands that that view has access to. You can take it a step further. We can see that show is available, but what show command or what, what objects can you show? with that so you can put show in another question mark and now it'll list out all of all the commands that are available in that show command here's another example where we enable the view called support and now what we're going to do is put our question mark in here and once again this lists out all the commands and interfaces that are available in this support view Here's another example. What we have here is a view called junior admin. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna check the permissions. So we're gonna do the enable view, specify the name of the view we wanna test. We log in with our password, put the question mark, and then it lists out all of those commands and interfaces that are available. If you don't specify 
the view in your enable view command, you can log in as root. And then from the root view, you use the show parser view all command. So show parser view all command. And what that's gonna do is that's going to give you a summary of all of your views. It was my pleasure to provide you with this wonderful episode on configuring role-based CLI. If you like this episode and you got value out of it, and depending upon what platform you're using, please click that like button, give a five-star rating, leave a comment. This all helps me bring you more great content. Please take a minute to subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell. All my socials and contact information are on my website, havetechify.com. You can get all these episodes in video and podcast form. In the upper right is my playlist for my series on network security. In the bottom right is one of my favorite videos that I linked just for you. Thank you so much for watching this episode on my series of network security. Once again, I'm Kevin. This is Kev Techify. I'll see you next time for another great adventure.